game. I die in the game. I'll die in I'll real die life. In real life. Ah, oh, Mesomar Katana. World, a single blade can take you anywhere you want to go. It sounds sharp. It's gonna do some damage. Let's go. Just a bit off. Bang, 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 bang. Time for some electricity. How's that, Harry Potter? Let's block under the table. Oh boy, he's good. But I am Kitty Doll. Now for the big boy. Haha, -ha, yeah. The Walking Dead. What? No ammo? Oh, no <gasps> ammo. Still get out of this. Oh, yeah. Welcome to Subspace Hunter, a mixed reality and virtual reality game that takes you on an adventure through a world of action and combat. In this game, players can wield swords, cast spells, and unleash hellfire to fight against the invasion of subspace monsters into the real world. The game is developed by indie developer Zhu King, and you might have guessed it is partly inspired by the anime series Sword Art Online. If you guys aren't familiar with Sword Art Online, it's a Japanese live novel series written by Reki Kawahara, and the series follows the adventure of Kizito and Asuna as they navigate through the difficult virtual worlds and face various challenges. The series was originally written as a web novel on Kawahara's website from 2002 to 2008 and was later published by ASCII Media Works. The series has since been adapted into multiple manga, anime, and video game adaptations. This demo version of the game is available for early access on the side quest and provides a certain number of swords, magic, guns and dozens of featured enemy dual combat as well as Annihilation Battle Survival Mode of a game experience which is one of my favourites. This version does not represent the tracking quality of the game and multiplayer online games and offline real-time land battles will be added in the official version. The game requires a fairly large playing area, but it's completely doable as you can see here. However, it's not recommended to play the game outside in the sun, as it could damage the lenses. According to Meta, the manufacturer of the Quest 3 headset, the device is not designed to be used in direct sunlight, and it's recommended to use it indoors or in a shaded area to avoid damage to the lens. I actually tried playing the game outside at night, and the Quest 3 did a great job of this, as shown by this video. I was able to set up the Guardian with a little bit of effort and was able to map my Guardian perfectly. It gave me a completely different experience of playing mixed reality and it's completely doable. You just need a little bit of light from maybe an outside or light or street light as well. Just be aware that some people may be a little bit amused like your neighbours by your shenanigans. But anyway, back to the game. The full version of the game, which is scheduled to be launched in six to eight months, depending on funding, will include a heap more features. It'll include multiplayer mayhem, where you can team up or challenge friends in online and land battles, both in MR and VR. Immersive worlds, exploring vibrant VR scenes inspired by each enemy's realm. Deeper combat mechanisms, magic gets an upgrade, firearms become deadlier and swordplay reaches new hearts. It's also got progression and glory. Track your accomplishments or customize your character and conquer RPG style elements. The game is perfect for anyone who loves action and adventure games and wants to experience the thrill of mixed reality and virtual reality. So what are you waiting for? Join the Subspace Hunter community and become part of the legend.